So things are looking good here. As you can see, there's one lioness over there. She's on the right-hand side of the road. And as Senzo zooms out, you'll get an idea of the, the lie of the land here. Here's some zebra. I think there could well be another lioness to the right of the one that we've just seen now, kind of trying to encompass this herd. There are also a few waterbuck and impala around further to the right. And then there's another lioness on the left of the road over here. So there's all kinds going, all kinds of action going on here. Like I said earlier, we seem to think that there are four lioness and one young male. Now this one's tricky to see, but it gives you a good idea of how well they blend in to this long grass. You can just make out her muzzle. It's a little bit of a whiter spot in amongst that sea of grass. And she seems to have been the kind of most proactive of the lioness. She's got herself into the best position closest to the zebra. Now she's relying on her pride members to, like I said earlier, encompass the herd before they, at least one of them decides to ambush them. And that will send them running in all directions and hopefully the lions would have positioned themselves accordingly to try and intercept one of them. So exciting stuff here. It's so tricky to actually know where the lions are in this long grass. So that's one zebra that's close to the lioness, but definitely not close enough for her to launch an attack. She's probably about 60 meters away now and should need to be the, m the furthest 20 meters before she, she started chasing them. And even that would probably be too far for her to catch up. But it, what it may do is chase some zebra into the other pride members. They may have had a long and unsuccessful night, so they may be getting a little bit tired now. I'm trying to scan around to ensure that we know where all the lioness are. As they get closer to the zebra, they're going to make themselves harder to see, which makes it a little bit tricky for us. But be warned, because at any moment, one of these lioness could pop out, and then the action will begin. Well, what a pleasant surprise to come out and we are on our way to try and get towards some of the crossing points where the migration is moving more prominently and that's further south of us and on the way there we are lucky enough to bump into this action so pleasantly delayed from our plans of where we were going. Hello, Gillian. It's good to have you on board with us. And you've noticed that it's quite strange that these zebras don't seem to really blend in with anything. And you're right, they, they stand out. But from a distance, when there's a kind of shimmering haze in the middle of the day, they can kind of disappear into the grasses. But most importantly, if you take a, a closer look at them now, once they all bunch together, it becomes difficult to work out which one's which and who, but which head belongs to who. And also what's interesting is that when zebra are born, they're born very tall. So the base of a baby zebra's stomach is probably the same height off the ground as their mothers. And this is called disruptive camouflage. So when the lions do take chase and the zebra's bombshell in all directions, it can confuse. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be beautiful. Senzo's on the ball. And this lioness has just crept forward a few meters as the herd moves a little bit further away from her. I wish I knew where the other pride members were. Hello to Timo. Senzo, I'm going to ask you to just focus on these impala on the right of us. I think another lioness may have swooped around there. They're looking very intently in front of them. So it could well be that there is something ahead of them and that's where the action could unfold. So there the impala there 
Maybe they're just cautious of this thick vegetation ahead of them, but there could be a lioness in there. Timo, you would like to know if zebras will try and protect themselves from lions. And ordinarily, no, not so much from lion, but from cheetah and leopard, yes. Sorry, Senzo, we're going to have to switch back onto this lioness now. I'm not sure where to put the camera, but that's always a good situation to be in. But let's get this lioness stalking forward through this short grass. Look at this. Look at her focus. How awesome is this? She's got her work cut out for her in this short grass, but there is a termite mound in front of her, which she's probably using to block her approach from the zebra, which are drift, drifting off. I wonder where the other lioness are. You need some help. You're not going to be able to do this on your own. <laughs> Looking at her belly, it could be that she's nursing cubs, or well, she's certainly an adult lioness, and she has Definitely given birth to cubs. You can see she's got a very prominent nipple there. Look at how wonderful this is. So who knows? Maybe she's urgently trying to fill her belly in order to try and produce some milk for some tiny cubs. Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing to see after a hunt? Now, this is going to be interesting. She's about to have to cross the road, so she's going to have to think cleverly here because this is when she's going to be most exposed. The road is also a little bit elevated. The zebra are moving away from her, though, so I think she's got a good chance of being able to cross without being seen. Look at how she's flattening herself to the ground there. And she's made it across, so that's good, undetected. Now, where all these animals are moving, there's quite a lot of long, long grass, so this is becoming favorable for her. The wind is also gently wafting towards us. So the wind is in her favor. I'm told a little bit earlier, I think the wind was what let them down, along with a young male that's within this pride. Oh, it doesn't get much better than this. A lioness on the hunt in broad daylight, lots of food around. And I've got a strong suspicion that the rest of her pride members have moved into those thickets behind her. And we could be in for some great action shortly. At any moment, things could explode. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we saw another lioness poke her head out of that long grass beyond this initial one we're looking at? trying to scan desperately with my binoculars to see if I can pick up where another one is, but not having any joy. So lots of prey up ahead there, just moving off. But they have relaxed. I mean, they're not as worked up as they were when we initially arrived, just after these lions had attempted to catch them. On a failed attempt. Hello to Michael. You're interested to know if the vegetation density or the lack thereof will impact on hunts, and yes, certainly, the more vegetation and cover the lions have, look at how awesome this is, the closer they can get to their prey. So they rely on it heavily. We're going to be temporarily, oh no, <laughs> there's, a, there's a tractor coming past with a hot air balloon, but it missed us and she's off. But I think she moved too early. <laughs> Unfortunate timing there. <laughs> There was a hot air there was a there was a hot air balloon coming off but 
The zebra are still running around. I'm just going to try and move the vehicle ever so slightly. Anything could happen. We're not sure where the other lions are. They're running through the forest. I can see warthogs, zebra, waterbuck, and pala all scattering in all directions. I'm just going to creep forward again. We've got a bit of a roadblock behind us, which is unfortunate. Apologies, folks. There's a little bit of chaos and confusion, but the zebras are still all running around in that direction. We don't want to zoom in because we're not sure where the lions are at this stage, and there's a lot of other prey around. So even though the zebras may have gone one way, the waterbuck have gone in another direction. We're not sure where the lions are. Whew. Now... Where are the other lions? Oh, it's tricky business working out where everyone's gone now. Sure. Well, that sure was exciting. Our timing wasn't ideal with that tractor coming past with a big basket from a hot air balloon. But people are having a lot of fun out here on safari and you, one of those things you just can't really avoid. We are going to now stick around you and try and work out what these lions are going to do next. And we'll be sure to keep you updated if anything does become more exciting. But for now, you are joining Taylor on a leopard hunt.